Hey, good morning, folks. On today's Banks Tech Tip, I'm gonna show you how to set up your email signature in Office 365. Today we're gonna to set up an email signature in Office 365. So as you can see here, we're on our uh, Office 365 dashboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, uh, on the mail icon and we'll open up the Outlook app. Okay, first we're gonna to go to the upper right hand corner and click on the settings wheel. And from here we're gonna go down to mail and click on that. Um, so now we see over here in the left hand pane we have all of these different options we're gonna go all the way down to layout and then underneath layout we're gonna click on email signature and here's our screen to set up the email signature um, first up we have the automatically include my signature on new messages I compose box um, this you, you click that it's going to include that on any new message you uh, you create the second option here is to automatically include my signature on messages I forward or reply to uh, if you only check the first box uh, the only time anyone will see your signature is if you send out a new message uh, if, you, if you receive a message from someone and reply to it they will not get your email signature. So if you want to include it on replies and forwards, uh, make sure you click that second box. So we'll, we'll click both of these. And, uh, and then down here, you just uh, type your, your, your information. Uh, include any, you know, you can include your, your fax number, your phone number, your email address, your website, whatever you want to put in there, uh, you can include that. Um, something we see a lot of nowadays is uh, is images in your signature line you can you can use this button here to insert an image uh, a lot of people will put their business cards in there um, some people will put their company logos that sort of thing and uh, and you also have your formatting uh, formatting options uh, up here as well so if you need to bold your text or uh, italicize underline uh, font size changes color changes and you can even include bulleted and numbered lists in your signature I don't know why you would want to do that but you can um, so that's how we set that up when you're when you've got it how you want it click the Save button let's close out a settings and we'll go back to our inbox and now when I click new message now we're gonna see our signature um, in that message so that's about all there is to it to set up your signature in office 365 if the video has been helpful please like the video on YouTube and if you enjoy the content and would like to see more of it please subscribe to our channel as always thank you for your time and until next time I'm Philip Banks with Banks Technology Services